Good morning, Port Washington High School. Today is Tuesday, February 16th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The word of the day is legislate, which means to make or enact laws. Interested in earning credit for working in a field you want to want as a career? You should check out the Youth Apprenticeship Program. In Youth Apprenticeship, you can earn both a paycheck and credit. The last virtual 30-minute info session is tonight. Check out the posters around the school for more information. Attention athletes interested in joining track and field this spring. There will be a short meeting today, Tuesday, 2.16 at 2.45 p.m. Boys should report to Mr. Paston's room, 41, and girls should report to Mr. Adamak's room, 283. If you are unable to attend, please contact the respective coach. Seniors, your caps and gowns and graduation accessories will be handed out by the Jostens Rep on Tuesday, February 16th during lunch in the upper deck. Remember to bring any balance due to pick up your items. Only cash or money order will be accepted for payment on delivery day. Students, today we start our after-school academic support. If you are failing a class, you will be assigned to that teacher for extra help to get caught up on Tuesday and Thursday after school. Check your email and adaptive scheduler to see if you are assigned academic support and where you should go. If your teacher is unavailable, you'll be assigned to the Learning Center in the Business Computer Lab, room 133, to work on your assignments. This is a plan to help you be more successful in school and provide the time you need to complete your work. You will need to be regularly checking your email and adaptive on Friday and Monday when you think you are assigned. Thanks. The cafeteria is once again open for breakfast again from 7 a.m. to the first bell at 720. Please remember you can only be in the cafeteria area if you are purchasing food. And please remember to social distance. Today's Black History Month spotlight is on Ruby Bridges. Ruby Bridges is an American civil rights activist. She was the first African-American child at the age of six to integrate in an all-white elementary school in Louisiana. Her parents had moved to New Orleans in search of better opportunities in which Ruby had only been attending a Blacks only school. Ruby Bridges was given the opportunity to test to see if she was academically qualified to attend an all white school. She and five other students passed, but Ruby was the only one out of the group to actually change schools. Residents of New Orleans resented this decision and protested outside of the school every morning and afternoon. She was threatened, screamed at, and called very offensive names. This left Ruby with excruciating travels to and from school. Ruby and her mother had to be escorted by four federal marshals to school every day that year in fear that they would be harmed. Parents even unenrolled their kids from the school because they did not want their kids to be in the same room with an African-American kid. All except one teacher in the school was supportive of Ruby. This teacher was Miss Barbara Henry. Miss Henry was the only teacher willing to accept Ruby, and all year, she was in a class of one. Ruby ate lunch alone and sometimes played with her teacher at recess, but she never missed a day of school that year. Ruby Bridges is now 66 years old, where she has graduated and had a family of six. She is still fighting inequality by establishing the Ruby Bridges Foundation to promote tolerance and create change through education. Please reach out if you have any questions about racial inequality or any topics you'd like to know more about. Go to our Instagram page and anonymously submit your questions. Our Insta handle is at multicultural underscore committee. Have a great day, Pirates. <laughs>